Forms and addenda are handled a bit differently in Appraiser Pro, but the concept is pretty simple and straightforward. In this video, we're going to take a look at starting a report from scratch and building a report using minor forms and addenda. When you first start Appraiser Pro, you'll be in an area called the Backstage. This is your jumping off point for using the program, including starting new reports and opening existing ones. In this video, we're going to focus on building new reports from scratch, so we'll go to new. Here you have two options in finding a primary form from which to base your report on. You can open up the category and find the form manually, or you can click into the search box up top and type out the name or partial name of the form that you're looking for. Once you find the form, single click on it to select it, and then select your desired template to the right. You can either use the default template or select one of your previously created custom templates. By default, the photo pages added to the default template will be 3x5, but you can change this under Settings. When ready, double click on the template, or select it with a single click, and then click on Create Report. Once the new report is open, it's time to begin building it up with the minor forms and addenda that it'll need. You can do this using the Contents panel. Click on Add up top to add a form or addenda. A new window will appear letting you choose the addendum to add. As before, you have the option to work through the different categories or simply search using the box up top. You can also filter the list by things like primary forms and addenda. Once you find the addendum, just double click on it to add it to the report list, which is displayed to the right. Changing from one primary form type, like a 1004, to another, say a 2055, is quick and easy from here as well. Just add a new primary report type and it will replace the existing one, be filled automatically with any existing data, and the corresponding additional comparables will be switched out automatically. Once a form or addendum is added, you can use these arrows above to change the order in which it appears in the report contents. When done, click Save and Close. You can also change the order of the addenda in the contents list by selecting them, and then using the arrows above to move them up and down in the list, or by simply dragging them. And to remove an addendum from the list, simply select it by single clicking on it, and then click Remove. Inside the Contents panel, you can double click on a form or addendum to open it as a tab in the main editing window to the right, and you can easily add additional addenda of the same type by clicking on the green plus next to its listing. This is handy when adding additional photo pages, maps, or word processing addenda, and you can add as many as you wish, even extra comps. If a form or addendum has multiple pages associated with it, it'll have a right arrow next to it. Click this to see and select the pages within. This is especially helpful when opening your extended comments, which also feature icons to show you which parts have content in them. Look for more First Look videos on Appraiser Pro coming soon as we get closer to its release. Until then, check out the previous videos in this series on our website or on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.